G'day, I'm Dave from Rain Harvesting, and today we're gonna to show you how to clean your Maelstrom blue filter. The first step is to just get access to your Maelstrom filter. To do this, you might need to get up on a step ladder so you can remove the lid. Just undo these clips around the edge. Take off the lid and put it somewhere safe. The next step is to remove the blue filter itself. So on top of the Maelstrom blue filter is an easy grab handle. You can just lift this up and remove the blue filter. I'm gonna take this down to the ground now so I can clean it a little bit easier. So once you're on the ground, the first thing you wanna do is just remove a lot of the larger debris that might be sitting inside the Maelstrom filter. So there's a little bit, there's actually a fair bit of debris in this unit, but just use your hand, reach inside and pull a lot of it out. The beauty of the Maelstrom filter is it has this fine 180 micron mesh bag on the outside. What that means is you want to capture a lot of silt and other fine particles that a normal tank screen might not get. But in saying that, you might have to remove the bag sometimes to clean it. This one's a little bit dirty, so I'm going to disassemble the Maelstrom filter so we can clean it more easily. So the first step is I take this black handle, it's got these little tabs on the side here and in the middle, so we'll just unclip these and slide that black handle back over the bag. Just put that to the side. Now, your Maelstrom bag actually has an elasticated section around the entry point here. So we'll just slowly and carefully remove that. And this will just make it a little bit easier to clean. So what I've done earlier is I've just prepared a bucket of clean water here. What I'm going to do next, I'm just going to turn this Maelstrom bag inside out so a lot of that silt and stuff can wash out of the material. So you can see that bag's a lot cleaner now. I'll just set that to the side and we'll replace that later. Next up, I might just back flush this filter. You can do that either in the bucket or with a hose. I'm going to dunk it in the water first. Make sure you're tipping it up towards the inlet and outlet so that that debris can come out. I'm just going to give it one little quick spray with the hose just to make sure I got most of that out. And you can see there already that Maelstrom filter is looking a lot cleaner than before. So now I'm just going to reassemble my Maelstrom so that I can put it back into my housing. So first off I'm going to grab the bag slide it up over the blue filter in the reverse order of what we did before. I just want to make sure that that elasticated section is in the little recess at the entry point here. Just to make sure it's properly secured. And finally, I'm just going to put a black handle back over. It can be a little bit tricky. Just take your time. When you get that black handle almost the way to the end, just make sure you re-clip the handle into the, into the slots that we removed it from before. So now that handle's nice and secure, I'm just gonna go and install this unit back into my Maelstrom housing. Back up on my ladder with my Maelstrom filter and my Maelstrom lid. I'm just gonna drop the filter in place, making sure The inlets are in the right position and it's just firmly pressed home on the ribs inside. And finally, I'm just going to reinstall the Maelstrom lid. And just make sure that each clip around the outside, there's four of them, make sure each one is securely fastened. And that's it. Your Maelstrom filter is clean and ready to give you clean water next rainfall.